Welcome to Pan Am Weekend at the Buffalo History Museum. My name is Cynthia Van Ness, I'm Director of the Library and the Archives here. And for this segment, we thought we would talk about what happened at the end of the Pan American Exposition. It closes on November 2nd, 1901. About 125,000 people turned out for the final like dowsing of the lights that night. Then what happened? Well, one thing is that the Pan American Exposition closed with a $3 million deficit, and John Milburn, the president, had to go to Congress to sort of beg for money to pay off creditors. Another thing that happened was that the Chicago Wrecking Company started negotiating for the rights for demolition and salvage. It took a couple months, they came in, and um, negotiations went back and forth. They exited, they came back in, they finally signed a contract in the spring of 1902, started clearing the grounds. They issued a catalog of salvage from the Pan American Exposition. Well, we can show you that. Then um, this process took a number of years to clear the grounds. It wasn't until around 1903 that the grounds were substantially cleared and residential development, the laying out of streets, house and building lots, didn't begin until 1909. So the parcel was essentially idle for eight years or so after the end of the Pan American Exposition. So here's a view of the last night at the Pan American Exposition, the last display of the lights that everyone loved. So here is a scene of the electric tower being demolished. It's from August 1902. So again, multiple months after the exposition closed, the tower was still standing and it had not yet been demolished. So this scene, the headline here is Suicide of a Goddess. What happened was the Goddess of Light statue on top of the electric tower. There have been negotiations back and forth about someone acquiring the statue. Um, nobody came through and they eventually just basically toppled it off the tower, it fell to the ground and shattered, and, and was therefore not reusable by anyone. Here's a scene of the demolition of the Triumphal Bridge from Lincoln Parkway in the summer of 1903. What's funny about the Triumphal Bridge is it was this grand entrance experience for people arriving at the Pan Am, and yet most people arrived by train and therefore went in through the Amherst Street gates and didn't have the full Triumphal Bridge experience. So what became of the Temple of Music, which was the site of the assassination of William McKinley? There was talk back and forth about maybe um, demol or d dismantling it, reconstructing it at another fair. John Milburn, the president of the exposition, was adamant that it not be become like a, a carnival attraction and not be exploited. So the Temple of Music was demolished without its parts being labeled as such. So for example, the flooring would have gone into the other board feet of flooring being salvaged on the Pan Am. So it was demolished without any special effort to mark or retain or make souvenirs out of it because the board of managers did not want to cheapen or commercialize the assassination of the president. John Milburn, who was the president of the exposition, um, had a lot of explaining to do at the end when the fair was $3 million in debt and a number of his friends and associates who were investors had lost money. Enough of them at the Buffalo Club were so upset that one of them vandalized a portrait of him in 1905. He had left Buffalo at this point. John Milburn went on to New York City, resumed his law career, and was eventually president of the New York State Bar Association.